नमस्कार टुडे वी विल डिस्कस सम प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द मैपिंग डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू साइन इज वी नो दैट द फंक्शन साइन इज इज डिफरेंशियबल एवरीवेयर एंड इट्स डेरिवेटिव इज कॉज इजेड ओके दैट मींस दिस फंक्शन इज एनालिटिक एवरीवेयर क्लियर ओके सो नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू एनालाइज द कंफॉर्मैलिटी ऑफ दिस फंक्शन साइन इज वी हैव अ रिजल्ट एन एनालिटिक फंक्शन इज कन्फॉर्मल Uh, except its critical point and what are the critical points critical points means those points with the derivative equal to zero so how to find the critical points of this function sin z we have a deriv derivative and equating the derivative equal to zero that means cos z equal to zero so what are the critical points of this function sin z that means what are the solutions of cos z equal to zero yes the solutions are odd multiple of uh, pi by 2 Oh, sorry. This is two two n. Yes, two uh, n plus one pi by two. That means odd multiple of pi by two. So they are the critical points. So it is clear that this function is analytic everywhere, and it has some uh, critical points. So this function is conformal. Sin z is conformal every everywhere except two n plus one pi by two. Okay, where n is an integer. Okay, okay let w equal to u plus i v. so we have to find the real and imaginary part of w that means u and v okay. so our sin z become sin of x plus i by we can expand this sin x plus i by uh, x plus i by using uh, the formula sin a plus b so what is expansion and this become sin x uh, cos i by plus cos x uh, sin i by uh, what about cos i by cos i by is cos cos h by and sin i by is i sin h by Okay, so this question, this expression become yes, this become sine x into cos h y, and when i is outside, so i into cos x into this become sine h y. Okay, sine i y is i into sine h y. So now you can easily compare you uh, real and imaginary part. So what is u? So u is nothing. Our u is equal to this one, and imaginary part v is equal to this one. Okay, so this is the real and imaginary part of this function. Clear. So u equal to uh, sine x into cos h y, and v is equal to uh, cos x into sine h y. Okay. Next, we are going to analyze some standard images uh, of uh, some standard images of uh, some stand some images of standard curves under the mapping W equal to sine z. Okay. But sine z has a property. Sine z is a periodic function. Clear. So we discuss. This mapping only in the interval minus pi by two to plus pi by two, because since this is periodic, we can extend everything similar to this interval. Okay. Okay. Our first problem: find the image of x is equal to z. What is x is equal to z? X is equal to is a straight line parallel to y-axis, right? And we have a restriction, c so should be in between minus pi by two and plus pi by two. Okay. And uh, also we know that. The real and imaginary part of the transformation sin z. Okay, we have to find the image of this x is equal to z under the transformation sin z. And these are the uh, okay, sorry, uh, sorry. These are the real and imaginary part of our sin z. U is equal to sin x into cos h y, and v is equal to cos x into sin h y. And we have to find the image of x is equal to z. So what about this u and v? When x is equal to z, u is like this sin c into cos h y. And v is equal to cos c into sin h y. Okay. And next we have to identify what is the uh, shape of this u uh, u and v together in u v plane. Okay. Or we have to find formulate a relation between u and v. Okay. Okay. We have a standard relation or standard equation. Cos h square y minus sin h square y is one. Okay. This is always true. So from this expression we can find u by sin c. What is that? That is equal to cos h y, right? And what about v by cos c? That is equal to sin h y. Then you can use this relation: cos h square y minus sin h square y is equal to one. So this expression become okay. So using this relation, this become u square by sin sin square c minus sin h sin h y become v by uh, cos c. So v square by cos square c is equal to one. And geometrically, what is Uh, this shape in uh, UV plane. Yes, this is nothing. 
this is equation of a hyperbola okay so x is equal to c is mapped into uh, this hyperbola and provided we have two conditions these two denominators should not equal to zero that means sin c not equal to zero and cos c not equal to zero so if sin c not equal to zero and cos c not equal to zero then x is equal to c mapped into this hyperbola okay but there is a there is a one more restriction uh, that is okay that is because this u is equal to sin c into cos h y and cos h y is always positive this is e raised to y plus e raised to minus y by 2 this is always positive so this quantity is always positive so the sign of u depends sign means the sign of u it is positive or negative that depends the sign of sin c you got it then what about the graph of sign the graph of sign is like this in the interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 so in the interval 0 to pi by 2 if suppose our c is in between 0 to pi by 2 then what happen in this interval sign is always positive clear the sign is always positive so in this interval our u value is always positive clear okay similarly suppose c is somewhere here in between minus pi and plus pi minus pi to 0 in this interval our sine function is always negative so this u is always negative clear because cos h y is always positive and uh, what about cos c whatever be the value of c if c is in between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 c is always uh, cos c is always positive so this quantity is always positive so v is controlled by sin h y right but sin h y has a property it can take any real number it actually sin h y is varying between minus infinity to plus infinity this is the definition of sin h y okay so v has no restriction but u has a restriction u sin of u depends on the uh, uh, the position of c if c is in between 0 to pi by 2 this u is positive if c is in between minus pi by 2 to 0 then this u is negative okay so we have two conditions the image of x is equal to c satisfying this first condition and the second condition second condition means so as a the conclusion is x equal to c is a part of this hyperbola satisfying this condition okay let us see and what is the focus of this uh, hyperbola you can easily find the focus using this formula plus or minus square root of a square plus b square so sin square c plus cos square c that is one so plus or minus uh, one zero so whatever be the value of c the focus is always c okay okay so first we consider the case x is equal to c and c is in between 0 and pi by 2 okay if c is in between 0 and pi by 2 then we know that our sin c is positive so u is always positive so u is always positive and u is a part of this hyperbola so which part yes that is, this is nothing this is the uh, right part of our hyperbola u square by sin square c minus v square by cos square c okay in this part u value is always positive clear y has no restriction v has no restriction clear and similarly suppose our c is negative and between minus pi by 2 and 0 suppose we consider a like is x equal to c like this here c is negative okay, in between uh, minus pi by 2 and 0 then what about the image if c is negative then what happened we know the sign c is uh, negative if c is in between minus pi by 2 to 0 then sin c is negative and cos h is always positive so u is always negative but again this u satisfies this relation this u and v again satisfies this relation that means this is a part of the same hyperbola but which part the left part okay so this x is equal to c map down to uh, this portion of the hyperbola clear okay next you have to discuss the special cases sin c equal to 0 and also we have to discuss cos c equal to 0 okay so first we consider sin c equal to 0 so we consider the interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 and we know that in that interval sin c equal to 0 means c equal to 0 so we have to consider the equation x equal to 0 okay and what is x equal to 0 x equal to 0 is nothing it is y axis so we have to find the image of y axis under the transformation sin z only we know that uh, u and v of our transformation so you just substitute x equal to 0 in this equation then what is u and v if you substitute x equal to 0 our what is u u is nothing 0 because sin 0 is 0 and what about v uh, cos 0 is 1 so this become sin h y okay 
So the image of x equal to 0 is like this u equal to 0 and v equal to sin hy. And what about this sin hy? We know that sin hy means sin hy can take the value between minus infinity and plus infinity. Okay, so that means we can take any real value. We can take any real value, but we have a restriction u should 0. What is that? That is nothing, that is the imaginary axis in u e plane. Clear? So our x equal to 0 mapped onto the imaginary axis of u e plane, that is our u equal to 0. Because v has no restriction, sin h y can take any real value. Okay, that's why x equal to 0 mapped onto u equal to 0. Okay, next case is cos equal to 0. Cos equal to 0 means c equal to uh, pi by 2 or uh, minus pi by 2. Okay, we consider only in the interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. We can extend everything similar to this one. Okay, so in this interval, uh, c can these two values. So next you have to find the images of x equal to pi by 2 and x equal to minus pi by 2. Right. So what is the image of x equal to pi by 2? When x equal to pi by 2, what about our u and v? Yes, u equal to sin pi by 2, sin pi by 2 is 1, so u is cos hy and cos pi by 2 that is 0, so v equal to 0. So x equal to pi by 2 mapped down to u equal to cos hy and v equal to 0. Okay, but this cos hy has a restriction. Uh, sin hy has no restriction, sin hy can take any, any real number, but cos hy has some restriction. Why? We have, a, we have a standard result. If a is positive, then you consider square root of a minus 1 by square root of a whole square. This is square square, so it is always greater than or equal to 0. You just expand this bracket, so this is a plus 1 by a minus 2, right? You expand this bracket, uh, you get like this, greater than or equal to 0. That means a plus 1 by a is greater than or equal to 2. This is always true. Clear. If a is positive, if a is a positive number, then a plus 1 by a is always greater than or equal to 2. So what about our cos h y? You can write cos h y as like, like e raised to y plus e raised to minus y by 2. Clear. And this is equal to e raised to y plus 1 by e raised to y all divided by 2. And what about this numerator e raised to y plus 1 by e raised to y? We know that e raised to y is always positive like our a, like our a. Clear. So this is of the form some a plus 1 by a. We know that a plus 1 by a is always greater than or equal to 2 by 2. So what happened? This is greater than or equal to 1. Clear. So cos h y is always greater than or equal to 1. Cos h y equal to this expression and this, this uh, expression is always greater than or equal to 1. So what about our u? u is always greater than or equal to 1 and v is 0. Okay, that is the image. So x equal to pi by 2 is mapped on to u greater than or equal to 1 and v equal to 0. Okay. And v equal to 0 means our real axis in the w plane. But we have an extra condition u should greater than or equal to 1. So what is the image? So x equal to pi by 2 mapped on to u greater than or equal to 1 and v equal to 0. So this portion of real axis of w plane. Clear? Okay, next case is x equal to minus pi by 2. And uh, when x equal to minus pi by 2, this become minus cos hy and v equal to again 0. And we know that cos hy is greater than or equal to 1. So what about minus cos hy? Minus cos hy is less than or equal to minus 1. So that is our u. So u is less than or equal to minus 1. u is less than or equal to minus 1 and v equal to 0. Clear? So x equal to minus pi by 2 mapped on to u less than or equal to minus 1 and v equal to 0. And what is this? Geometrically, this is nothing. This is, uh, okay, this is, this, this is the image of x equal to pi by 2. And x equal to minus pi by 2 mapped on to u less than or equal to minus 1 and v equal to 0. v equal to 0 means our real axis and we have an extra restriction u should less than or equal to minus 1. So this portion, clear, this infinite uh, line segment. Okay, this portion of the real axis up to minus 1. Okay. Okay, next we have to find the image of y is equal to d under this transformation, sin z. Okay, we know that real and imaginary part of our sin z, that is sin x cos h y and cos x sin h y. Okay, when y equal to d, our u become sin x into cos h d and v is equal to cos x into sin h d. And we have to find the relation between u and v for identifying the uh, shape of uh, this image in our w plane. Okay, so how to find? We know that sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. So you can easily use that relation to find the relation between u and v. So 
Okay, so from this equation, uh, u by cos h d equal to sin x and v by sin h d equal to cos x. Then you can use the relation sin square x plus cos square x equal to 1. So what happened? This become u square by cos h square d plus v square by sin h square d equal to 1. Because this is our sin square x, this is our cos square x, we know that their sum is 1. Okay, so this is the relation between u and v in w play. So y equal d mapped into u square by cos h square d plus v square by sin h square d equal to 1. Okay. Provided sin h d is not equal to 0. Because we know that cos h d is never 0. Cos h d is greater than or equal to 1. Always. Whatever be the value of d, this is always greater than or equal to 1. So this is never 0. So this mapping is valid only when sin h d is not equal to 0. Okay. Geometrically, what is uh, this equation represents in a w plane. Yes, this is of the form some u square by a square plus v square by b square equal to 1. This is nothing our ellipse. Okay, so the y equal d mapped into an ellipse. Okay, then what is the focus of this ellipse? What is the Fossey of such ellipses? Yes, you can easily find the Fossey using this formula. Plus or minus square root of this square minus this square. So this value is 1 and plus or minus 1 0. So, Forces are always uh, plus or minus 1, 0. Okay. So, this is the geometry. So, y is equal to d mapped on to uh, an ellipse like this. So, with the focus uh, for c minus 1 and plus 1. Okay. Suppose you consider another uh, straight line, another y equal to d. Suppose d is another, uh, you can say another straight line parallel to y axis, x axis. Then its image is also a, a ellipse, another ellipse. Okay. That's all. Okay, next you have to consider the case uh, when sin h d equal to 0. <coughs> sin h d equal to 0 means e raised to d minus e raised to minus d by 2 equal to 0. That means e raised to d minus e raised to minus d equal to 0. And this is possible only for one real value of d. That is nothing. That is d equal to 0. Okay. So next consider the case when d equal to 0. d equal to 0 means y equal to 0. So y equal to 0 means what? That is nothing or x axis. So next you have to find the image of x axis under this transformation. We know that u is equal to sin x in cos h y and v is equal to cos x into sin h y. So next we consider the case y is equal to 0. When y equal to 0, what about u? And cos, yes, when y equal to 0, uh, this becomes e raised to 0 plus e raised to minus 0 by 2, that is 1 plus 1 by 2, that is 2 by 2, that is 1. So when y equal to 0, this becomes 1. And what about sin h, uh, sin h 0? When y equal to 0, this is e raised to 0, 1. This also 1, so 1 minus 1 0, clear, so this quantity is 0, when y equal to 0, sin h y is 0, when y equal to 0, cos h y is 1, so our u and v become like this, u equal to sin x and v equal to 0, then what about uh, this, uh, what is the geometry of this expression, u equal to sin x and v equal to 0, yes, this sin x, we know what is the range of sin x. Sin x can take only the value between uh, this is sin x uh, minus 1 and plus 1. Okay, so you can take only value between minus 1 and plus 1. But v equal to 0. v equal to 0 means u axis. So the portion of u, u axis or portion of the real axis in w plane in between minus 1 and plus 1. Right, that is the image of uh, image of y equal to 0. So y is equal to 0 mapped down to minus 1 less than or equal to u less than or equal to 1 and v equal to 0. Geometrically, this is nothing. The portion between minus 1 and plus 1 in real axis in w plane. Okay. So this infinite uh, line, that means y x axis mapped down to the line segment from minus 1 to plus 1 under the transformation sin z. Okay. So this is your homework. Thank you.